I just have some some quick comments um, and then pass it back to you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you know, first of all, people have talked about this 1933 agreement. Well, I guess I would agree with Dean's uh, grandfather's comments that you got you got to look forward before you look back. And yeah, there might have been an agreement back in 1933, but there's so much been happening and so much has been done since 1933 down at Hampton Beach. I'm not sure um, how strong that agreement um, uh, is in today's world. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about how back in 2012 there was a Warren article, Warren Article 31, that 65 percent of the residents voted that article down saying that they did not want the town to enter into an MOU with the Department of Transportation for the maintenance of the sidewalks. Along with that, there was discussions that were brought up about the cost. Cost anywhere from $500,000 to most recently at a planning board meeting where it was a million dollars for the town to take over that cost. Well, I believe most recently some of that financial uh, amount has been reduced both from a liability and, and from a maintenance cost. So I don't think it's, it's $500,000. But more importantly, that Warren article that people voted down is not what we're recommending tonight. That Warren article basically said, town of Hampton residents, do you want the town of Hampton to take over the responsibilities of the sidewalks 2012? The conditions that the sidewalks are in today what we're proposing, something totally different. 